The Phalanx CIWS is a close-in weapon system for defense against incoming threats such as small boats, surface torpedoes, anti-ship missiles and helicopters. It was designed and manufactured by the General Dynamics Corporation, Pomona Division, later a part of Raytheon. Consisting of a radar-guided 20mm, 0.8-in, Vulcan cannon mounted on a swiveling base, the Phalanx has been used by the United States Navy and the naval forces of 15 other countries. The U.S. Navy deploys it on every class of surface combat ship, except the Zumwalt-class destroyer and San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock. Other users include the British Royal Navy, the Royal Australian Navy, the Royal New Zealand Navy, the Royal Canadian Navy and the U.S. Coast Guard, aboard its Hamilton and Legend class cutters. A land variant, known as the LPWS or, Land Phalanx Weapon System, part of the C-RAM system, has recently been deployed in a short-range missile defense role, to counter incoming rockets, artillery and mortar fire. The U.S. Navy also fields the C-RAM system, which pairs the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile with sensors based on the phalanx. Because of their distinctive barrel-shaped redome and their automated nature of operation, phalanx CIWS units are sometimes nicknamed R2-D2, after the famous droid character from the Star Wars films. The phalanx close-in weapon system or CIWS, was developed as the last line of automated weapons defense, terminal defense or point defense, against all incoming threats, including small boats, surface torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, ASHMs or ASMs, and attacking aircraft, including high G and maneuvering sea skimmers. The first prototype system was offered to the U.S. Navy for evaluation on the destroyer leader USS King in 1973 and it was determined that further work was required to improve performance and reliability. Subsequently, the Phalanx Operational Suitability Model successfully completed its operational test and evaluation OT &E, on board the destroyer USS Bigelow in 1977. The model exceeded operational maintenance, reliability, and availability specifications. Another evaluation successfully followed, and the weapon system was approved for production in 1978. Phalanx production started with orders for 23 USN and 14 foreign military systems. The first ship fully fitted out was the aircraft carrier USS Coral Sea in 1980. The Navy began placing CIWS systems on non-combatant vessels in 1984. The basis of the system is the 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun autocannon, used since 1959, by the United States military on various tactical aircraft, linked to a KU band fire control radar system for acquiring and tracking targets. This proven system was combined with a purpose-made mounting, capable of fast elevation and traverse speeds, to track incoming targets. An entirely self-contained unit, the mounting houses the gun, an automated fire control system and all other major components, enabling it to automatically search for, detect, track, engage, and confirm kills using its computer-controlled radar system. Owing to this self-contained nature, Phalanx is ideal for support ships, which lack integrated targeting systems and generally have limited sensors. The entire unit has a mass between 12,400 to 13,500 pounds, 5,600 to 6,100 kilograms. Due to the evolution of threats and computer technology, the Phalanx system has been developed through several configurations. The basic, original, style is the Block Zero, equipped with first-generation, solid-state electronics and with marginal capability against surface targets. The Block One, 1988, upgrade offered various improvements in radar, ammunition, computing power, rate of fire, and an increase in maximum engagement elevation to plus 70 degrees. These improvements were intended to increase the system's capability against emerging Russian supersonic anti-ship missiles. Block 1A introduced a new computer system to counter more maneuverable targets. The Block 1 BPSUMOR, Phalanx Surface Mode, 1999, adds a forward-looking infrared or FLIR sensor to make the weapon effective against surface targets. This addition was developed to provide ship defense against small vessel threats and other floaters in literal waters and to improve the weapon's performance against slower low-flying aircraft. 
The FLIR's capability is also of use against low observability missiles and can be linked with the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile or RAM system to increase RAM engagement range and accuracy. The Block 1B also allows for an operator to visually identify and target threats. Since the end of fiscal year 2015, the U.S. Navy has upgraded all Phalanx systems to the Block 1B variant. In addition to the FLIR sensor, the Block 1B incorporates an automatic acquisition video tracker, optimized gun barrels or OGB, and enhanced lethality cartridges or ELC for additional capabilities against asymmetric threats such as small maneuvering surface craft, slow flying fixed and rotary winged aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The FLIR sensor improves performance against anti-ship cruise missiles, while the OGB and ELC provide tighter dispersion and increased first hit range. The MK244 ELC is specifically designed to penetrate anti-ship missiles with a 48% heavier tungsten penetrator round and an aluminum nosepiece. Another system upgrade is the Phalanx 1B Baseline 2 radar to improve detection performance, increase reliability, and reduce maintenance. It also has a surface mode to track, detect, and destroy threats closer to the water's surface, increasing the ability to defend against fast attack boats and low-flying missiles. As of 2019, the Baseline 2 radar upgrade has been installed on all U.S. Navy Phalanx system-equipped vessels. The Block 1B is also used by other navies, such as Canada, Portugal, Japan, Egypt, Bahrain, and the U.K. In April 2017, Raytheon tested a new electric gun for the Phalanx allowing the system to fire at varying rates to conserve ammunition. The new design replaces the pneumatic motor, compressor, and storage tanks, reducing system weight by 180 pounds, 82 kilograms, while increasing reliability and reducing operating costs. The CIWS is designed to be the last line of defense against anti-ship missiles. Due to its design criteria, its effective range is very short relative to the range of modern ASMs, from 1 to 5 nautical miles, 2 to 9 kilometers. The gun mount moves at a very high speed and with great precision. The system takes minimal inputs from the ship, making it capable of functioning despite potential damage to the ship. The only inputs required for operation are 440 volts AC 3-phase electric power at 60 Hz and water, for electronics cooling. For full operation, including some non-essential functions, it also has inputs for ship's true compass heading and 115 volts AC for the wind pass subsystem. Wind pass, or, Windows-based parameter analysis and storage subsystem, is a secondary computer built into the local control station that allows technicians to perform various tests on system hardware and software for maintenance and troubleshooting purposes. It also stores data from any engagements the system conducts so that it can later be analyzed. 